Good evening and welcome to the October edition of the Business Forum. Make sure when you're running around town you uh, say a special thanks to Plew Elementary and Principal Carolyn McAllister. They are our School of the Month, so when you see them, pat them on the back and thank them for all the great work they're doing with our children. And spoke, speaking of folks that are doing great work with our kids, our very favorite uh, coffee sponsors on our show today, and that is Rocky Bayou Christian School. And representing Rocky Bayou, we have Denise Bowers, the elementary principal. We also have Cameron Esses and Laura Hudson. Did I get that right, Laura? Yes, I did, sir. didn't I? <laughs> Welcome, folks. How y'all doing? We're doing well. Denise, Thank you guys have us. come on this show year after year and brought us some of the most wonderful young people that are just um, have the, the world by the by the coattails and are on their way and it looks like you brought us two more and we're, uh, yeah. we're, we're going to be looking forward to chatting with them but tell us a little bit about uh, Rocky Bayou was recently honored wasn't weren't they could you uh, yes. share with us that information? Yes I can. We were honored by um, a website called um, christianhighschools.org and we were honored for our academic excellence and extracurricular activities. We have a fine and performing arts program that just is second to none in the Christian school realm. We have great athletics uh, with multiple varsity sports offering everything from football to tennis to weightlifting. Making the newspapers on a regular basis. Yes, I we might are. Add. Sure. Yes, we are. <laughs> we have all the social activities that. Uh, child could possibly want mm -hmm. and we're just a great place to be. Now you have a philosophy of Christian education. Um, tell us how that helps you fulfill your mission statement. Well we believe that um, God gave the responsibility of educating their kids to the parents mm -hmm. and our fundamental belief is that we are partnering with parents to educate their children. Um, with that being said we believe that all truth is God's truth, so we use every academic discipline to bring forth that truth. So language, for instance, is a gift of God that is given to us to express His thoughts and to think His thoughts after Him and to share His thoughts. And math explains our creation and, Certainly. of course, science is that's a no-brainer explaining His creation. History is His story. So we believe that our underlying mission is to equip all these kids that God has given us to fulfill His mission in their life. Certainly. And I have to say, I've personally witnessed some of your esteemed alumni here on this TV show. Um, tell me how that vision of Christian education is carried out in their lives. Well, we have a lot of great stories of, of our kids going forth and doing wonderful things. We have many alumni that are on the mission field. We have a, a group, uh, two alumni right now that are just preparing, I believe they're in language school in North Carolina, preparing to head off to the mission field, Thomas Hamilton and his beautiful wife, Julie. Um, we just heard yesterday that one of our very recent alumni who is at Texas A&M just made the cadet baseball team, um, Tyler <laughs> Pascal, so we're real excited about that. We just are constantly hearing stories about kids doing great things, but not only kids that are doing the great things excellently, but that kids that are doing everyday things like being great husbands and being great wives and raising great children Good and performing. Citizens. Yes. Certainly being great citizens in the communities that God chooses to plant them. So that that's what we're all about, just making great citizens and great Christian leaders wherever God places them. It sounds like Rocky Bayou Christian School is raising a wonderful group, a Christian family, if we, you will. We are and doing our very best because we believe that family is the backbone of this nation. Absolutely. And now for the fun part of the show, we get to meet some of your uh, new new and improved students yes. as they're moving on. And this <laughs> is uh, Cameron Esses. How long have you been at Rocky Bayou? Well, I've been a student at Rocky Bayou for almost 14 years, and they consider me a lifer, which is me. I've been there <laughs> since pre-K. <laughs> oh, really? So a very wow. long time. How but cool is that? Now, awesome. now, Rocky Bayou requires some uh, participation in sports and activities. Uh, tell me what, what sports and activities you're involved in. Well, currently, I am captain of the drumline in our school's marching band. Um, I play soccer. Well, the cool guys, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. I am captain of our varsity soccer team. And I participate in leadership track along with another other clubs. 
And I guess that's what I really like about Rocky is you are able to do a lot and still be involved. Certainly. And, and I would guess there's a few colleges that looking for you <laughs> or you're looking for. So. Still, still in the process of applying. But um, right now I'm trying to get into the Air Force Academy, United States Air Force Academy, mm -hmm. uh, Georgia Tech, University of Florida. And probably my number one choice would be Duke University, partly because that's where my dad went. So <laughs> my, my prayers will be for the University of Florida or the Air Force <laughs> Academy. Either one makes me real happy. So <laughs> good, good luck and God bless you on that. Thank you. Um, you have a leadership position in the um, student government, don't you? Yes, sir. At Rocky, we're not like regular schools. We're based on a prefect system. So we have a number of different students um, kind of overseeing and in charge of different areas of the school. I'm the advancement prefect which uh, what we do is we promote the school in and around the community. Uh, more specifically, I run things like Grandparents Day, Pastor Appreciation, and I tour new families alongside the admissions office. How cool is that? Now, what does a student leader look like at your school? At Rocky, um, I believe that a student leader is someone we can look up to, someone who prides himself in being honest and respectful towards his peers. Um, is someone who can take on this responsibility and rise to the occasion when needed. And it's someone that myself and I believe the rest of the SGA strive to be like. How fantastic is that? And last but not least is Laura. How are you today? I'm doing well. How about you? Uh, wonderful. Thank you for asking. And I understand you are the head prefect and the president of the SGA. Um, what kind of responsibilities does that carry? Um, yes, that is correct. I um, oversee the following committees. I oversee discipleship, um, advancement, athletics, uh, academic, and a few others. Um, I just make sure that they're doing their job and I make sure that they have every resource they need to do their job. I run uh, weekly meetings and um, make sure different things are done that aren't designated to those specific committees. So I, this year I helped uh, run freshman ret retreat and um, I'm in charge of the senior t-shirts. Uh, I'm also in charge, um, I also set an example for the rest of the committees and the student body. So if anybody has questions they can come to me or should be a good representative. And I would guess the school's done a great job of preparing you for that leadership Yes, position. sir. Uh, we have many different ways that we can be leaders um, through our years at Rocky. One of the best ones, we have a program called Leadership Trek where we are taught about once a month, we get together and we are taught how to be a godly leader and how to um, fulfill our calling what God calls us to. Absolutely. And I understand you're on the Honor Council at Rocky? Yes, sir. And what's that about? Honor Council was made to help students um, show academic integrity in their work. So the goal is to prevent kids from cheating, which mm -hmm. is a main struggle that kids have throughout different schools. Yeah, in our school, we want to just help kids to overcome that difficulty. Fantastic. And I understand you have some big plans after graduation. Yes, sir. I uh, plan to attend Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia. I if I get accepted, which I hope I will, but <laughs> wherever God calls me to, that's where I'm going to go. Um, I'm looking into maybe um, human resources or um, business management or something of that sort, so humanities. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Denise, as always, you've amazed us with some absolutely wonderful young people, and Rocky Bayou is doing a fantastic job. We want to thank you for what you're doing for our community, what you're doing for our world, and what you're doing for Christ. So. Oh. Thank you very much for all you've done. If folks wanted to get in touch with Rocky Bayou Christian School, how would they do that? Would they call? I'm sure there's a number on the screen. You can call the Advancement Office or any of the numbers listed on the screen. We have a website, www.rbcs.org. We have Welcome Wednesdays uh, once a month. Come by and, and those, visit. Come by and visit anytime. You don't even need an appointment. We would love to see you. Love we to look, have you on campus. We look forward to seeing you all at the, uh, at the Second Wednesday Coffee, and thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much. You're not going to want to go away. We're going to tell you all about Music by Moonlight, and you don't want to miss that.